Brooks here from Bike Camp and today I want to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to make a 2D drawing in Inkscape look more 3D. So let's just jump right into Inkscape. Alright, so here we are in Inkscape and I've got my Goomba that we drew with Lindsay in our Getting Started with Inkscape series. And with this Goomba, we want to make him look a little more 3D. So there's actually some really simple things you can do to make a 2D drawing look a little more like a 3D shape. And those two things are adding highlights and shadows. And Lindsay actually showed us how to do a little bit of highlighting in her videos. And that was with the eyes. So the way that she taught you her technique with eyes with uh, one shape and then duplicating to make all these little shapes on the inside this little white part of the eye That is the highlight So this little part here is the highlight and it gives you a light source So it makes you think that the Sun is shining and he's got the little glint in his eye So those are those little highlights. That's the only eye highlight that I added to my Goomba um, But there's a few places where you can add some shadows. So this is the Goomba we did with Lindsay this is the Goomba that I did. So he looks a little more 3D and all I did was I added four different shadows on this image to do that. So I have a shadow underneath his eyebrow to make it look like those eyebrows are popping off of his face, which they are, and we're just giving that light effect to make it look like he's a 3D space. So if you think of any 3D object out in space, when there's light coming from any direction, you're going to see a shadow from it. So that's all we're trying to do here. We're just trying to add those little extra shadows and it's not necessarily a shadow from them standing like on the ground, um, but shadows on their own body or their own surfaces so that it looks like they have those 3D objects. Right, so we have the shadow here underneath the eyebrow. I have shadows on the feet on the back of the feet to make it look like because his head is so big he's got those shadows that come onto his feet and then I even have a little shadow here underneath his chin because you would get that with most people anyways you would see a bit of shadow there so it's just adding those simple shapes and I just want to point out that what I do for making shadows is I just draw another shape or I duplicate the shape um, and then take out the points I don't need to get the same starting shape so that I don't have to draw that shape all over again. And then I just use a dark shade of gray. You can even adjust the opacity, so the alpha here on the right side. You can adjust the opacity so it's a little more see-through or a little less see-through. That's a really useful way to make shadows. One thing I will note to you guys, I usually like to use the blur to make my shadows, but we've noticed when we import things into Scratch, um, Scratch doesn't know how to handle blur. Um, so if you wanna use blur, you have to make sure that you export your images afterwards and make those PNG files instead of using an SVG file because Scratch for some reason doesn't know how to deal with them. So just be careful with using the blur. All right. So there's Lindsay's Goomba on the left and my Goomba on the right with those extra little bits of shadow. It's not a ton of detail to add, it's just a little few things just to give it that little extra pop. So all you're trying to do to make a 2D object look 3D is just by adding those little bits of highlight and those little bits of shadow to make it look like that object has extra shape than just that 2D surface, right? If you think of a piece of paper, a piece of paper is thin, it's 2D, it only gives one type of shadow and you won't see that shadow on itself. You only see it behind. But if you think of a person, like right now, I have this shadow under my chin, I'm casting my own shadow, I have all these different shapes that you can't see when you just look at me this way, but that's what makes me 3D is that I can turn and rotate, you can see those different shapes, and you have to make it look like you can see those different shapes in a 2D drawing. So I hope these tips and tricks help you guys. Practice is the best thing you can do to get these right, and just play around with it. Just add little shadows here and there. If you don't like it, take them out and find a new spot, or even use references. So thanks so much, guys. Make sure that you subscribe below so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.